Let's practice. Leah. Q&A. Level up. Agricultural economics. Part 1. Here we go. The addition of values to a product as it moves to the consumer is called A. Selling. B. Distribution. C. Marketing. D. Production. The answer is letter C. To which of the following would the mercantilists have objected? A. Stimulating exports. B. Restricting imports. C. Free trade. D. Accumulation of gold by their nation. The answer is letter C. It is the ratio between a country's export and imports. A. Balance of trade. B. Balance of payment. C. Net export. D. None of the above. The answer is letter A. This marketing function addresses the problem on product seasonality. The primary aim is to help balance consumption or periods of scarcity. A. Processing. B. Storage. C. Pooling. D. Packaging. The answer is letter B. It is a policy which defends domestic producers from foreign competition. A. Fiscalism. B. Monetarist. C. Mercantilism. D. Protectionist. The answer is letter D. The fundamental problem faced by every economy is a finite amount of factors of production. B. Scarcity. C. Limited supply of resources. D. All of the above. The answer is letter C. This is the utility created when raw materials are transformed into products. A. Place. B. Time. C. Form. D. Possession. The answer is letter. C. The process of transformation of inputs into output. A. Processing. B. Manufacturing. C. Consumption. D. Production. The answer is letter. D. Tariff barrier. A. Export tax. B. Quota. C. Import tax. D. Preferential trading. The answer is letter. C. An extreme high inflation is known as A. Stagflation. B. Hyperinflation. C. Superinflation. D. Mega inflation. The answer is letter B. Marketing function that represents the point at which the price determination is influenced in the marketing process. A. Exchange function. B. Buying. C. Pricing. D. Selling. The answer is letter A. These are considered as fixed costs except A. Labor cost. B. Depreciation. C. Interest. D. Tax. The answer is letter A. Variation in price, which is repetitive in nature. A. Annual. B. Random. C. Cyclical. D. Seasonal. The answer is letter. C. Which of the following is most closely approximates our definitions of oligopoly? A. The cigarette industry. B. The fast food chains. C. Rice farming in the region. D. Corn farming in the region. The answer is letter. A. These are considered scarce and to be paid for, and are produced and needed by men to satisfy their wants. A. Market goods. B. Intangible goods. C. Economic goods. D. Tangible goods. The answer is letter C. It is an economic system associated more with the political system of a strong one man or jaunta dictatorship. A. Marxist. B. Feudalism. C. Fascism. D. Socialism. The answer is letter C. Scarcity is a permanent economic phenomenon. Shortage is A. Temporary. B. Limited. C. Occasional. D. Short run. The answer is letter A. A study of a proposed project to indicate whether the proposal is attractive enough to justify more detailed preparation. A. Feasibility study. B. Market study. C. 
Technical study. D. Financial study. The answer is letter. A. In production, this is the input, considered as the organizer, and coordinator of labor, and capital. A. Cooperative. B. Corporation. C. Firm. D. Management. The answer is letter. D. The exchange of goods and services across international boundaries. A. Regional trade. B. Domestic trade. C. Local trade. D. International trade. The answer is letter. D. The president responsible for the implementation of the Comprehensive Agrarian Reform Program in the Philippines. A. Joseph. E. Estrada. B. Corazon. C. Aquino. C. Ferdinand. E. Ramos. D. Fidel. B. Ramos. The answer is letter. B. The behavior pattern of a firm in the industry. A. Market structure. B. Market performance. C. Market conduct. D. Pure competitive market. The answer is letter. C. Point of consumption is the point of sale. A. First. B. Second. C. Last. D. Infinite. The answer is letter. C. Thank you for watching. For more videos, follow our Facebook page and subscribe our YouTube channel. War Agritech TV.